Hi, I'm Murray from Pure Blinds, and today I'm going to show you how to take down a roller blind. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how to take down a roller blind. Now, there's a few different types of blinds on the market. The roller blinds have a bracket at each end of the tube, so you have a mechanism end which goes into one side and then a type pin end that goes into the other. On the pin end it has a receiving bracket which is mounted to the wall and then on the other end a mechanism bracket. There's a couple of different types of mechanisms and pin ends. But to make it simple, uh, let's just say that the two main types are either going to have a turning function, which releases the pin and allows you to take it out. The other type has a spring-loaded pin end, so there's nothing to turn to make that release and that's taken out by pushing the whole unit and then lifting and coming out, but we'll get into that in a minute. Pin end, which is retractable with a spring behind it, it sits into a hole in the bracket and is pushed in and locks in place. For this particular type of roller blind, you need to take the blind out using the other end. This end is the mechanism end and you would normally see a chain coming out here, but for just an ease of demonstration and not getting it in the road, the chain is not on this at the moment. As you can see, if it was to be fixed top fitted, you would lift the blind slightly and pull it for it to come out, retracting the pin at the other side. And to put it back in, you would simply push the pin in the other side first, which would leave a small gap, lift it up so the prongs go into position, let that release back and then pull slightly down to lock it in. If you try and pull it out without lifting it up first and pushing it, you can break these off and then you would need to get a new mechanism. Now the other style of pin end, which is retractable and adjustable. There is a spring in here, but the other end is used to put in first and then this slides into the bracket. Now to release it, all you need to do is to turn this plastic cog the plastic cog does go two ways because it's adjustable. So one way retracts it and allows it to come out of the bracket. And if you're installing and there was a small gap, the other way pushes it out to take the slack in that. So if you do start to turn it one way and you hear a click, it's the wrong way, turn it the other way and the pin will come out. So on the other end of this, is the mechanism. Now again, I haven't got a chain on it, but this is what sits inside the on the mechanism side, the 
bracket has a tongue and the end of the mechanism slides into the tongue. And this is how you would fit it once it's been removed and you're putting it back. This side goes in first. Now note that the top of the mechanism has a guard and that has to go to the top. If you install it to the side too far either way, when you operate the chain, it's going to drag on this and you'll hear a noise and that'll be indication that it's not fitted correctly. So this piece needs to go to the top. It simply locates in and on the other side, you would simply just lift it up and it would locate into position and then you can adjust if there is movement back and forth, you can adjust it. So to recap, this is one of the types of bracket and mechanism systems with the things to look out for which are the pieces that come through the bracket and the push-in pin this is the one where you do have to lift the bracket up slightly and then push it away from the bracket to let it come down to release and this is the other system with the cog that you need to turn to retract the pin, to let that end come out of the, back, the bracket, releasing it, and then you can pull this end out of the locator. I hope this video has been helpful, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment and contact me, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks.